Sure. Yeah, I'm in Hollywood Studios today. So it is extremely busy here today. Um, I have no fast passes at all, and I'm not really sure what to do. Kind of just like people watching right now. You can't really go anywhere. Uh, I'm on Hollywood Boulevard right now, and uh, you can almost not even walk. There's so many people down this way. So it's not like that through the entire park, but it is really packed down here. So they have these uh, cool Christmas shirts here that are feature with Darth Vader. I think we may have showed them before. I'm holding off on getting it. Only, only because I'm pretty sure once Christmas is over, they're gonna go to Character Warehouse. And then instead of being like $30, they're gonna be like 10 bucks. And I'm gonna grab it then. All right, so it was really, really busy at Hollywood Studios. I'm actually gonna try something a little different. Taylor didn't get to eat lunch today. I'm going to Walmart or Publix, I don't know, whichever. Uh, I'm actually gonna go get some food, and I guess I'm gonna try and take you guys with me. Maybe, I don't know. I need to make a video today. I really did not record anything over at Hollywood Studios, so how about I make steak? And you guys can see how I make steak. Oh no, did it die? So I was talking about doing another something, um, where do I start at? Okay, so I left Hollywood Studios, it was way too busy, I was gonna go do something else. Taylor ruined that plan, because she wanted to come to Disney Springs and get something to eat at Morimoto's. So I'm here at Morimoto's, I'm meeting Taylor here, her friend from work is coming. You've seen him before, uh, his name's Andrew. I don't even think we're gonna be able to get a seat. So we're probably gonna eat the street food outside, and uh, I don't know, my first time eating at Morimoto, so hopefully I find it quite tasty and refreshing. So I think that there is a line. Oh, there's not really a line at all. But I'm gonna check in, it's probably like an hour wait. I don't know if we're gonna get a seat. Hi, uh, I was just wondering uh, what like the wait time would be for uh, three people. Uh -huh. For the dining room, we do have open seating in the bar room, so that high top that you see there, you can sit there now oh, yeah. and see the menu. Go set at the bell oh, Okay, awesome. Thank you. So that's what I'm saying. I can so it's like an hour and a half. We didn't have any reservations, but if you want to come here and eat, you can either sit at the bar, or they actually have a bar lounge area, and there's a there's a tabletop over there. So we're gonna grab the tabletop and yeah, full menu. Yes. About time you show up. I know hey, traffic, yeah. man. Traffic. <laughs> it's, I tell you, it's like the traffic's not even in the light. You know, blocking the lane. Yeah, it was traffic. So Andrew's here and Taylor's here. Finally, and it's time to eat. Get something off of this menu. <laughs> this is my first time. Just so everybody knows. FYI, I got left behind last time. Yeah, and, about that. And Joe and I came without Josh last time. We just didn't vlog it. Someone then. was a little. Uh, He's a little salty. A little salty. <laughs> still, still a little salty. <laughs> I got the popcorn shrimp tempura, and then I also got the, what is it again? Bao. I got the chicken bao, which bao? is, yeah. Bao. It's my steamed buns. I love steamed buns. <laughs> and Anjo ordered spicy tuna sushi, and we're waiting on our ramen noodles. Gotta get some spicy mayo. It's <laughs> good. You come here, you must get this. Is that 
have like super spicy. So Taylor's gonna try sushi. She's never had sushi before. This is my first time trying sushi, ever. I'm gonna put a little bit of spicy mayo on it. I don't think I can eat that whole bite. No, just eat it. It's huge. Eat it. Do it. What if I don't like it? Do it. I don't think she likes it. That's bad. That's it's tasty. weird. It's the tuna. <laughs> it's like the weirdest texture that has ever touched my mouth. I wanna Josh has never had sushi either. So I, I've never had sushi before, but there was one time when we went to Yak and Yeti and I got... Uh, seared ahi tuna. Seared ahi tuna. I thought they actually like... Like, I thought they actually seared it, but it was raw tuna. I didn't really like it. First time eating sushi, got some spicy mayo. I think I would've liked some more spicy mayo. Yeah. Did you like it? I don't think I could do all of that. No? Andrew ate two plates of that last time we came <laughs> oh here. Oh my god. I couldn't eat two, I couldn't eat two plates. So my I don't know how people like sushi because it's like the weirdest thing I've ever eaten in my life. I'm going in for my chicken bao bun. It's got lettuce, like a cucumber, and actually I think it's a pickle, spicy pickle, and chicken, and then the sauce. I'm not sure what the sauce is. It is good. Hey, cucumbers are pickles. I know, but it's a little different. <laughs> what even is all that? This is a pork belly, egg. Oh, look at this food. Look at that fat. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. It's not too salty, but it's so rich. No way I'm going to be able to describe this in any way, shape, or form. Where's my spoon? Oh, here it is. I've never had anything like this before, so <laughs> I usually will. I will usually eat just about anything. Though. So I don't even really remember what any of this is. <laughs> I don't have any noodles, it's just the broth. Smells alright. There's like a little hint of, of curry in there. It's good, it's not like overpowering at all. I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> it's good, you should try it. I ask you, how do you eat rice noodles with chopsticks? You just get in there and it's like... You two did good. <laughs> or you can go the conventional American way. Just use pork. I feel more cultured if I use these. Pork's not working either though. <laughs> One whole noodle. Alright, so we just finished eating at Morimoto's. Uh, Morimoto's is very good. Uh, it's a very, very beautiful restaurant inside there. If you have a chance to go there, I highly recommend you check it out. The food's good. I think it's reasonably priced. Um, they do have street fair food, at least that's what they're calling it. I didn't actually go look at it. Taylor said they didn't really have very much, but we had uh, the, the, what was it? The spicy tuna? <laughs> Spicy tuna, I couldn't eat a whole roll, but the spicy tuna was still good. And then we had, uh, we had like some ramen noodles and rice. It's not like ramen noodles that you like buy at Walmart and pack. This is like gourmet. And then we had, a, I had like a rice noodle bowl. It was very good. Um, definitely worth checking out if you guys are here or can get into here. And remember, you don't have to have a dining reservation. We didn't have one. We just basically went and sat in the lounge area, which you get the full menu, so. I'm talking super fast because it's like 9.30. I gotta get a video posted before midnight. And I don't have anything done. It's time to get some sprinkles. Oh, you sure you wanna get some sprinkles, Josh? Look at that line. Actually, we could go inside, it's so I think, unfortunately, I might pass on getting sprinkles. <laughs> That cupcake ain't that worth it. <laughs> so much for all the drama. No, no sprinkles. <laughs> no sprinkles. Taylor, Taylor, we just had like this 
we just had like this discussion while we were this on the bridge ordeal. while I was trying to like summarize Morimoto's Taylor wanted to do this thing and now we're not even going to the sprinkles because it's too busy <laughs> <laughs> now I get to go home without a cupcake I'm very disappointed